hey what's going on everybody this is tyrone back with tech life and at&t and verizon have to be very very careful on these next moves that t-mobile is going to make right giving back the t-mobile way so you guys have heard me say this uh several days ago right we talked about churn and how it is going to be very important to protect your churn right t-mobile is getting more aggressive they're going to go on they're going to continue to go on the offensive as they try to hit their guided targets by 2025 verizon and at&t they just have to realize that i don't know what else they need to see in their projections and numbers for them to start acting a bit different and they're really going to have to especially verizon right as the networks get more comparable in the metro suburban core t-mobile continues to win right they are able to invest more as a combined company with sprint and that helps t-mobile of course gain a better network in areas where they already had an existing network right they were able to to um, extract some sprint sites at the uh, you know at more density where needed they were able to add spectrum and don't forget we're approaching 300 million pops with 2.5 by the end of this year right t-mobile has and this is a fact t-mobile has another 40 megahertz of c-band across 225 million of those pops so out of the 300 million that they're going to go touch with 2.5 materially this year they can deploy another 40 megahertz of c-band across 225 million pops and that's and uh, and and that's e not even talking about the dod that's just the c-band but we know t-mobile is going to deploy both they're going to deploy a dual band radio that could do both i just don't know how many pops the dod covers but I know that 40 megahertz of C-band covers is, is covered across 225 million pops. So that's more capacity that T-Mobile is going to, going to be putting on air. Now, how aggressive, how much they scale that, that remains to be seen. T-Mobile has not disclosed that. But Verizon and AT&T have to be tracking that activity. And then... What you're seeing here and what you saw, right? They, they, they're enhancing T-Mobile Tuesdays. They're doing the hometown grants. They're giving back the T-Mobile way, right? All of this is being seen by somebody. Even if it doesn't directly affect that consumer, just because T-Mobile is doing these nice gestures, they might just join T-Mobile. It's about effective branding and overall branding. And T-Mobile, dare I say it, at the end of this is likely to have the best brand the most popular brand in the united states out of the mobile network operators t-mobile's customer service is decent it's not the best it has its flaws but it's decent their network is getting better and it's growing each and every day new sites are launching now again they have another six thousand sites to work through as we discussed in the last in the in the other video which they're like there's going to be a good chunk of that done in 23 and they're going to have to deploy more in 24. T-Mobile knows that. But each and every site of those new sites that goes live, T-Mobile gains more share. Right? Their brand is very effective. They don't go into these areas guessing if they're going to take share. T-Mobile knows they're going to take share. Because their brand is good, their pricing, the value is there, and the network is there. They're going to take share. The only question is how much share are they going to take? It's not an if anymore they are wherever they wherever they put retail distribution t-mobile is going to take share right across the montanas they now cover like 97 percent of the pops which is a big accomplishment for t-mobile port, some port outs now are 25 to 1 right t-mobile is taking in 25 they lose one that's how massive of a share taking they're taking in these parts and they're just getting started this is still very early on that's why I, I, I look at these articles and these analysts and I'm like, T-Mobile has so much upside that nobody's, you know, really looking at. So again, T-Mobile is going to protect their churn, which is a big deal in my opinion, because it's going to make it harder for Verizon and AT&T 
to pull those customers away. Before it was fairly easy for Verizon and AT&T. They had the bigger networks, the better networks, better indoors, you know, better at the larger venues. But T-Mobile is closing that gap each and every quarter. So just wanted to share that with you guys, just give you some of my thoughts. Again, I think this is a big step for T-Mobile. They are analyzing and they are acknowledging very quickly on the next steps that they need to take when it comes to competing, right? Just in case, you know, it, I'm going to have to mark the calendar, but just in case Verizon starts getting competitive, they do price cuts, whatever the case may be, T-Mobile is going to be ready to deepen relationships with their base. They're going to be ready to combat any competition that's coming from even the MNO, MNO side, right? They include them in the run right now. So they're going to be competitive regardless of, of how the industry shifts. T-Mobile is going to remain competitive today. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Look forward to reading your comments. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, follow the social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See you all in the next one. Peace.